We're excited to have you here. I don't know if anybody made it to a Viva World in San Francisco or previous ones, but uh, the purpose of today's event is just sort of to give you a quick summary and some of the highlights of what was at Aviva World. And we will have follow on um, events and webinars and things like that to talk about all the content. So um, today's theme is industrial intelligence, which is a big thing from Aviva. And just to show you this here on my screen, you can also see um, Aviva's got all these presentations posted. So on the Aviva website under Aviva Resources, you'll be able to find everything from Aviva World. You can see there's 114 presentations. And if anybody went to Paris, I was at Paris, it was great. There's a lot more there as well. Tons of great content. Feel free to search for it. It's all, you know, it's available to everybody. And for those of you who are thinking about it, the Viva World Milan in 2026, please join us there. Should be an amazing event. So uh, get that in your calendar. Love to see you there. Should be a great time in Milan. So one of the big things that folks are, you know, the, that at Aviva are thinking about, you know, what does it take to deliver results with industrial software? Uh, so some of the concepts you see right here, domain specificity, that's hard to say, uh, you know, not just making generic products, but how does it fit into your industry, into your domain to, to deliver results? You know, what kind, and then what kind of technology, you know, can it perform the results that you're looking for? It's built, purpose built for industrial consumers, and then also, how do you make sure that these solutions are interoperable? You know, that many of us have had to deal with, you know, silo type solutions over the years. And Aviva has been investing heavily in making sure that these solutions are interoperable. So even on this slide, one of the things you might see here is, you know, Aviva has got a wide range of tools from engineering design, even the kind of drawing that you see on the screen here with piping and tanks and actually doing your PNIDs, your mechanical drawings, your 3D things, all the way to the right-hand side of the screen, an industrial AI assistant. So if you start building, designing, engineering with Aviva engineering tools, those efforts will be available to you as the user, the consumer, all the way at the far end of the spectrum where you're doing visualizations, HMI screens, cloud concepts, you know, and so it's one connected concept from engineering all the way through operations. And that's, that's a really powerful concept, but it's also a difficult challenge. And so that's just sort of where Aviva's heading at a very, very high level view. Again, a fully integrated platform from engineering all the way to operational concepts. So one of the big themes at Aviva World is industrial AI. And you know what is that? It's a number of pieces and parts together. You know, In the middle, you have a lot of models and analytics but it's also the things that you're doing, you're learning, you're collaborating, you're co you know, connected information, things you're collecting from things like Historian or Pi. There's a lot of pre-built use cases and different actionable concepts and then workflows. I mean, Aviva itself has roughly 19 different AI products, quite a lot. And so that just tells you how there's again, a lot of domain kind of concepts in there and use case concepts and they're trying to tie them all together. So one thing you'll see in a lot of Aviva products going forward is many different, you know, integrated AI concepts. You know, some of the most common things you'll see are predictive AI, prescriptive AI, even, you know, prognostic AI, you know, giving you warnings. And then you know, on the boxes on the right, you know, historical. So AI against what's happened or in real time, what's happening, you know, say you have a lot of alarming concepts or predictive, you know, what can you do or what should you do? Prescriptive. So and prognostic, how bad it's going to get. So all of these AI concepts are, very, are being built into the products, again, in this common platform across all phases of Aviva software tools. Another concept you, that's got a lot of press at the Aviva world was the industrial AI assistant. Again, this is a tool for users, consumers of data, and here in this case, what it's showing is how you can generate visualizations in some of the tools, in this case, Connect, uh, based on just real, real world language kind of concepts. The user will type in here or speak into this mode and say, show me a certain concept or so on. And the tools are smart enough to deliver those visualizations to the user. So not every screen, not every display has to be pre-built, predefined by the engineers or folks up front. It lets the people that are trying to solve problems decide what they want to see 
And again, without them having to be programmers and so on. So you're going to see these kinds of industrial, especially industrial AI assistant embedded it throughout Aviva products. You're even going to see it in all the way down in concepts like mystery within touch in HMI SCADA. So not just for runtime kind of concepts, but also in development side to help you know, use AI to help you build screens and design screens. And then for users, again, in runtime kind of mode. So Aviva's heading in all directions with these AI kind of concepts. Also for simulation, for some of the tools, there's a lot of Aviva has quite, oops, quite a number of process simulation tools. And so if you want to do simulations on how your operations are going to run, there's quite a lot of AI being developed as well. And just a little better screenshot of the industrial AI assistant, because uh, it could be a little hard to see. Um, and these things are trained in using large language models. And so not, not customer specific data. So even if you're using this tool, it's not taking your data, you as the customer and feeding it back into the system. It's using outside resources, not customer specific resources. That is a concept, a question we do get quite often. So now then the next big concept that folks were, uh, were was on display here at Aviva World is Connect, which is the Aviva cloud platform. It quite, does quite a lot of things. And so some of the big concepts, I mean, if you see the box in the middle uh, as design build, you can actually do your engineering design inside the cloud platform. And a lot of folks have moved to that rather than standing up engineering and designing infrastructure at, uh, you know, on their sites, operate. And that sounds what it, what it means. I mean, you can do some operational concepts inside the cloud. Uh, we don't have folks running skate up platforms, not because it's not technically possible, but it just doesn't seem like the market's ready. And uh, quite a lot of optimization on the right hand side. So you want to do analytics, predictive concepts, do all kinds of models. Uh, that's definitely uh, quite a lot of that content is within Connect. Just some screenshots. I'm going to flip through these fairly quickly. You know, the kind of dashboards and displays that you can build within Connect. Uh, so, and again, they're very customizable to the user or even using some of the AI tools to build them for you. Uh, these are just some that have been built around for other customers and so on. Um, here you can even see on the right-hand side, uh, the industrial AI assistant that's built in as a native piece of functionality into Connect. Uh, and on the left-hand side, you have 3D models from engineering tools. Uh, in the middle, you have documentation tools and so it's an aggregation of information displayed in one sort of pane of glass. And so you'll see that uh, a well-established inside of Connect. Connect itself has been on the Aviva roadmap for quite a number of years. Uh, and there's a, a decent footprint out there in the marketplace of people using it daily. Just a few more screens. This one is sort of interesting because on the right-hand side, you have this thing called Point Cloud. Viewer. So in case you want to come into existing facilities and do laser scanning and actually map existing facilities and operations to understand where things are physically at. So you can do a lot of point cloud kind of stuff. And here we're just showing different industries. So it's not just oil and gas or things like that. It's all industries are represented inside of Connect. And this is a brewing customer making beer. A lot of people like that. <laughs> Uh, this is right here, this screenshots uh, some advanced analytics that a customer uses. It's actually a real world success story. Uh, there's some really nice ones. It's from a customer called Amcor, a uh, uh, packaging manufacturer, and how they use Aviva Connect to actually improve uh, machinery and equipment operations and save themselves money, you know, reduce downtime. And so these, this is actually a customer success story that's available in that in Aviva world, the uh, presentations there, and they talk about how they use Connect to actually improve their operations and save save money for the business. One of the back end things here in this screenshot uh, is obviously Aviva is used called used to be called Data Hub. Connect is now you know the Data Hub's a legacy name, but there's quite a sophisticated data store behind um, Connect and multiple models there. So you can bring in data from many different resources, not just Aviva products. And so that's gotten a, quite a lot of attention from customers because they realize that it's not just enough to just take your data and throw it into some database or some cloud platform. Those platforms have to be designed and understand industrial data. So the Aviva Connect data store is really designed for industrial data. That is its purpose in life and it does it extremely well. And so just a little screenshot on that. And then also how do you get data in and out? So, you know, some of the uh, 
data analytical tools out there beyond, you know, often people want to just use connect to aggregate and store data. Industrial data makes a lot of sense. But then there's some other really powerful tools out there in the marketplace for getting and analyzing that data. So the one really common one out there is called Databricks. And uh, so there's some really nice built-in adapters for connect right in bi-directional mode, as you can see here. So you can take data from connect from whatever resources, put it into Databricks and even pass it back to take action, pass it back down to Pi, like in this case, it's showing here, or even back down to your HMI. So do some sophisticated analytics in Databricks, use connect to pass it down to your HMI and, or some of your AI models and so on. Obviously, another big subject that Aviva World was Pi. I'm sure there's probably many customers here on the call uh, that use Pi. Super popular product, incredibly powerful. Uh, the term that you'll see from Pi these days is they're moving into what's it's a data infrastructure model, not just a data historian. Um, there's some hybrid concepts around there, and it's really going to be leveraging Connect as well. And so, you know, just some screenshots from Pi Pi Vision. Uh, this Pi Vision is super, you know, popular because even these displays here, you can do self-service models. Any user can build these models. Uh, we do a lot of events around this, how to build things like this for self-service. You know, one of the big things around Pi that it gives you, it's an asset framework or the event, you know, the event framework in there. So you can build all these kinds of concepts in there. So very popular product. Uh, to do all kinds of different things. I mean, many, many success stories at Aviva World around Pi, find one that fits your industry and see what people are doing with it. And just some of the, you know, the roadmap with Pi, and I know we have another presentation around it here, is that it is going to be well integrated within Connect. So again, data that's in Pi that you've been, you know, using Pi and the Pi adapters or some of the, you know, the asset framework, now you can put it up to Connect do some analytics, do some asset performance kinds of concepts. And again, even feed back into Pi to do Pi vision screens or Pi calculations or so on. Another subject uh, got a lot of presentations at Aviva World was Aviva Operations Control. And I know that uh, Mike's gonna be following me with a presentation on this. This has been, uh, Aviva Operations Control is a commercial model, very popular these days. Um, it gives customers what's called an unlimited software use model. And so use as much Aviva software of a certain framework that fits your space. And uh, that's been very, very popular for a lot of customers because uh, financially it makes a lot more sense than bits and pieces for a lot of customers. And um, it's just been very, very easy to understand. So basically it allows folks to architect around how their business runs and not worry about incremental cost and software in a lot of cases. So love to talk to anybody more about operations control. It's been very successful for us. And my last set of slides here, doesn't get enough press. I talked about it a little bit more, but Aviva Unified Engineering, I know Seema is gonna talk a little bit here about that. Again, the engineering tools for designing and building your actual infrastructure. So at the very front end, maybe you're building a new plant for pharmaceutical manufacturing, for wastewater, for food manufacturing. You know, how do you build and design something to where that data is available? And there's a tremendous amount of efficiency in unified engineering, especially these days. We've been uh, got a lot of customer system integrators and folks using the 1D, 2D pieces of this. You don't have to use 3D stuff. That's a very, that's a phase for, you know, later phase for a lot of folks. But at the front end of these things, if you're doing PNIDs or process flow diagrams or just for the data sheet capability that's built into the 1D, 2D stuff, um, that can save engineering firms, system integrators a tremendous amount of time versus you know, managing everything in an access database or building your own database for your panels and your panel designs. And so, or how do you take a PNID or your process flow diagram and turn it into a simulation solution or use that to help define your SCADA solution. So a lot of that functionality is built into the 1D, 2D low end pieces here. And uh, it's been very exciting for a lot of our customers. It's been really interesting stuff. You know, and Aviva is working hard as this is as this is one platform for engineering, but to create a ton of out of the box content. And so um, you can see just here that Aviva is committed to delivering a lot more out of the box content, especially on the lower end. Of this. So shorten your time to learning, shorten your time to just, to, you know, getting value out of this rather than having 
a bunch of engineers doing independent stuff on their traditional design and drawing tools. Now you can have, you know, one unified environment, uh, even for low end kind of functionality, 1D, 2D, these kinds of things where everyone shares the effort of others. And that's been, uh, that's been pretty, pretty popular with a lot of folks.